Hey everybody, welcome to episode 31 of uh, Chris's Yard Sale and Thrift Store Finds. Uh, not as giant amount of stuff as last week, but uh, pretty good pretty good quality things overall. Uh, I'm going to say, let's start over here on the left as usual. Um, Saturday, I uh, popped over to the Salvation Army uh, around my town. I picked up this uh, Wii set came with uh, two Wiimotes with a Wii Motion Plus and a mess of spaghetti, which uh, didn't include the power cord. Paid twenty nine ninety nine plus tax. I got this little stack of games with it. Uh, Sims 2 Castaway, Need for Speed Carbon, AMF Bowling Pin Busters, uh, Wii Sports Resort, uh, Heat Seeker, and uh, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. Uh, definitely only got it because Wii Sports Resort was in there. It's about a $15 game still. And uh, I've been selling Wiis a lot lately, so I uh, decided to pick up another one. Um, so this this week, uh, it kind of rained out on the weekend, so I only managed to get one, one yard sale thing. I guess I'll just show you right now. Uh... Sunday, I just grabbed this. This is a Generation 1 iPod Shuffle. It's uh, sealed, still new in the box. Uh, I paid five bucks. It's only, uh, yeah, it's only 512 megabytes, but um, I already sold it uh, less than a day. Uh, a little shy of $50. Um, so yeah, I guess Gen 1 iPod stuff is uh, still pretty good, pretty good to pick up, especially if new. Yeah, so everything else here is going to be thrift store finds. Um, so let's go over to here. Uh, it's Heroescape. Uh, this is the master set. It's a Swarm of the Marrow. Uh, so this is the first time I've actually picked up this one. I usually find the, the Rise of the Valkyrie set. So I wasn't, uh, I wasn't as familiar with uh, the contents as I am with the other one. Uh, I took a quick peek inside, but it's pretty taped up uh, at the store. Um, and it seemed like the tape was holding the box together, so I didn't want to rip it up rip it apart too much, but, uh, it seems like they were, uh, they were, uh, a custom, uh, a custom Hero Escape player, cause, uh, inside I found, uh, I found some of these, it's, uh, Arbiter, it's Master Chief, it's Ezio, there was, uh, a few others, like Batman, uh, and they had printed out cards, uh, so, I think the, it's Heroescapers.com or something like that, uh, these are uh, custom cards for uh, the Hero Clicks figures, uh, and it seems like this is this person did that. Unfortunately, it's missing a bunch of stuff, uh, wound markers, uh, a couple, a couple cards, and a couple figures. Uh, I managed to piece together a bunch of stuff that was missing from my spare bag, but uh, still didn't have everything. But did come with an expansion that was worth about fifty bucks. So that's a, that's always a great thing. That's so it's kind of the bonus with Hero Escape is it comes with uh, comes with expansions very often. Usually those expansions are worth a decent amount of money. Uh, so moving on, I got a Polaroid Cool Cam, three ninety nine savers, uh, gray condition. Doesn't really look like it was used. Came with a matching bag. Um, I just sold one of these for forty five bucks uh, without the bag. This will probably go for fifty fifty five with the bag. Uh, I know some people are selling them for a bit less, but um, you can definitely you can definitely get the fifty bucks out of it uh, in this good a condition. Uh, works great, which is which is always always a giant bonus. I found one of these uh, little little Nintendo keychain games. Uh, this is Donkey Kong Junior. Uh, I haven't I haven't found a screwdriver small enough to open up the back, but um, I'm hoping it works well. I'll probably need to replace the battery because it won't turn on. Um, these only go for about 15 bucks. These are slightly newer. Uh, if it was a Game & Watch, uh, like a watch or one of those older 80s ones, it, it would go for a lot more. Same savers, I picked up a couple uh, Game Boy Colors. twelve ninety nine each, but uh, it was New Hampshire, so no tax, so uh wasn't too bad. Um, no battery covers, which is always a shame. I think I might order a bunch of generic ones, because most of the Game Boy Colors I get now uh, don't have battery covers. Also picked up a uh, Pokemon trading card game. This was five bucks. It's kind of a lot for it. Um, 
It's only about a $10 game max, and that's on a good day. Um, also picked up a uh, Game Gear. It was at $14.99. Um, no battery covers. Uh, I usually sell these for around $40, $45. Um, this will probably go a little south because it doesn't have battery covers, but it does work. Uh, these scratches aren't too bad when the screen's on. So then I grabbed a bunch of Warhammer 40k stuff. Um, a guy actually walked up to me and was like, oh, here, you want some coupons? I can only use one at a time, so he just handed me a bunch of 20% off coupons. Uh, and there's this, uh, this bookstore that's, um, around Massachusetts. There used to be a bunch, and I was only two. Um, so I paid a little bit much for these. I think it was 40 bucks for these four books. Uh, it's probably like $70 worth of books. Um, one of them I definitely shouldn't have picked up, but, um... Oh well, uh, so I think these were all roughly, all the big ones were roughly $11, I think, after uh, after the um, coupon, sorry. Uh, so, uh, Rogue Trader, Battlefeet, uh, Battlefleet, uh, Kronos, um, pretty good condition. Uh, I think this one, this one's maybe like the $25 book. Uh, this is the one I shouldn't have picked up, Witch Hunters Codex. Um, I usually know codexes aren't worth very much. Uh, I think it's just end up being like five bucks or something. Um, it's not. Yeah, I think it's roughly worth five bucks. So hope maybe break even. Um, the Emperor protects Death Watch. Uh, pretty good. And uh, Black Crusade Core Rulebook. I think this is the one that I'll probably get about thirty bucks for. Um, so I've never played Warhammer. It's just a little, a little too much for me. But uh, I always find the I always find the cover art pretty awesome, uh, and I've played the video games, so I, I guess Warhammer is for me. Just nothing, nothing small, small toy form. Go down here, these CD players. Um, just some like various Sony Walkmans, uh, cassette players. Um, uh, Philips Jog Proof. This is just a very similar one to the one I I got a couple of videos ago. It was five bucks. Came with like this leather bag and all these accessories. It has a car kit. Um, you know, various prices. I'm seeing these. Most of these Sony's are going for about forty, forty-five dollars. I've sold a bunch of the older, kind of not as nice ones. Um, and uh, the cassette players are an easy, uh, like twelve to twenty-five bucks. Um, yeah, and then I also got one that was brand new in the package. Uh, I think I paid five ninety nine. Um, the lowest one on Amazon is like a hundred bucks or something like that. I tossed it up at that. At that, um, I'll probably lower it uh, in a couple days. But uh, if some crazy person wants to pay a hundred bucks for an old CD player, uh, I'm not gonna stop them. Um, so then just here, just some various Pokemon figures. Uh, I think it was two bags, I ended up paying like seven bucks together. Also came this little SpongeBob. Um, these are the bigger, bigger Pokemon figures. I'm used to, I'm used to this size. Um, but yeah, I got, grabbed some of these bigger ones. Uh, like individually, some of them seem to go for three or four bucks. I'll probably just sell them as a lot. I'll probably even try and get 15 bucks out of it. I'm um, just double my money. I think SpongeBob actually goes for a couple bucks. It's like a cake topper. Does a little dance. Uh, next, uh, this is five ninety nine. It's a Blur. It's a Transformers figure. Uh, I'm not familiar with the character. Uh, I think it's four ninety nine or five ninety nine. I can't really remember. Uh, you know, it goes for about thirty bucks. Uh, with the package in this condition, but it's still new. Um, not too bad. Uh, grabbed another copy of Cash Flow. Uh, I already sold that other copy. I think it was like forty-five dollars. Um, it's all there. Looks pretty good. Um, probably get another easy forty-five dollars out of it. Uh, picked up. Picked up another one of these small Lego kits. Uh, Lego racer. Um, not the most valuable. I think it goes for about twelve bucks. Um, only paid I think two ninety nine. Uh, there was another one there, but it was open. Um, it was a Bionicle in the lid, and the the case didn't match, so I figured everything inside was kind of just jumbled around, so I just left it. 
Um, Sam Savers, I got a Pokemon, I think it's, oh, uh, not Pokemon, uh, Power Rangers Overdrive, um, gun slash sword, pull it out, yeah, it looks like that, um, kind of cool, makes noises, sounds like a sword when it's like this, and you can push this button to make it a gun, sounds like a gun, uh, probably get 10 to 15 bucks out of it, I think I paid 2 bucks, uh, it's another Yahtzee folio. Inside was this electronic handheld Yahtzee. I would have been really happy about that about two years ago. I think from my last video I showed you the in-packaged one. Uh, I think I'll maybe get three dollars out of it, hopefully. Um, yeah, and then just, uh, just a stack of movies and games. Uh, picked this up new, Savers, and it was like four or five bucks. Um, the Killer, it's a John Woo movie. Uh, there weren't that many on Amazon. Uh, goes for about um, goes for about twenty bucks. I uh, picked up some Lady Gaga, uh, the Monster Ball Tour DVD. Um, that'll probably go for about uh, about twenty bucks. Picked up Bully for Wii, two ninety nine savers. Uh, this is this is a pretty good game for PS two when I played it. Um, goes for about ten bucks on Wii. Uh, picked up Res. I believe this is one of uh, Harmonix's first games, or Harmonix, sorry. Um, it was three ninety nine at uh, Salvation Army, and uh, it goes for about uh, 15 20 bucks. Uh, picked up Teen Titans Season 2, uh, it was $1.99, because it's a kid's DVD. Uh, it goes for about uh, 12 bucks in the condition it's in. Uh, probably the best finds. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for Xbox, uh, $2.99 savers, it's an easy $40 game, uh, complete, uh, I picked up another copy, the black label version, um, I think this was 99 cents at savers, actually, uh, which is, uh, amazing, um, uh, complete, once again, um, uh, I'm not really sure if there's really a difference in value between the Black Label and the, the Platinum Hits version. Uh, either way, they're both around a $40 game. Uh, and one of my favorite PS2 games, Dark Cloud 2. Uh, this is $1.99. Yep, $1.99 savers. Uh, goes for about $35. Bucks. Uh, I didn't realize the second one was as valuable as that. I figured it was around $20, but uh, yeah, $35. Um, great game. If you haven't played it, uh, give it a go. And then last, uh, just a copy of Bulldog's Gate Dark Alliance. Yeah, three ninety nine savers, which is a little much. Goes for about eleven, twelve bucks. Uh, I think it's complete. Yeah, complete. Um, yeah, that was it. That was uh, this week. Uh, bummer that I uh, got rained out on Saturday, and uh, the the yard sales I did manage on Sunday just weren't that great. Probably should have ran up to the flea market or something, but I had other plans. Uh, yeah, but uh, not not too bad of a week. Sold uh, sold a pretty good amount of stuff. Either way, um, yeah. So like, subscribe, comment. Uh, feel free to share this video with other people. See y'all next week. Bye. <laughs>